two weeks after thousands died due to powerful earthquakes that hit Turkey's Hatay province, two more seismic waves were felt on Monday. The magnitude 5.8 and 6.4 quakes were felt in the region. Fuad Oktay, the vice president of Turkey, said on television that eight people were injured due to the quakes. Six others were reportedly injured in Syria. People were urged to avoid structures that were damaged. The region was already reeling from the two powerful earthquakes that hit the province on February 6. Over 41,000 people died in Turkey and thousands more were killed in Syria. The mayor of a district in Defn, Ibrahim Gazelle, said it was hard for officials to assess the damage caused by the new seismic waves due to the electricity being cut off. According to Lutfu Sabish, the mayor of Hatay, some of the buildings in the area collapsed. He said people were trapped inside the rubble. According to estimates, the two powerful earthquakes that hit Turkey caused a loss of over $80 billion to the country's economy. The two earthquakes, which were powerful enough to damage thousands of buildings, happened on February 6. The country's business confederation estimated that the quakes caused around $70.8 billion in damage to residential structures. The confederation, which is known as Turkenfed, said that the economic loss caused by the two earthquakes would reach around $3 billion. The powerful quakes affected various regions in Turkey, including the southeast. The Confederation's calculations were based on the devastating earthquakes that occurred near Istanbul in 1999. The latest casualties toll is more than that of the previous quake. Thousands of people are still missing. Economists from various institutions, including Barclays, have noted that it's too early to estimate the full economic impact of the earthquakes. A report by Barclays noted that the damage to Turkey's infrastructure, such as power grids and roads, could push the country's budget deficit to over 5% of its gross domestic product. According to calculations by Bloomberg Economics, the cost of repairs and rebuilding efforts could reach around 5.5% of the country's GDP. In response to the devastating earthquakes that hit the country two weeks ago, President Erdogan said that the government would begin building over 200,000 homes in the affected areas by March. In his speech, Erdogan noted the severity of the damage caused by the earthquake and referred to historical events that occurred in Anatolia, which is the country's heartland. He also said that the country would continue to resist social and political upheavals. According to Erdogan, the construction of over 200,000 new homes would begin in the next couple of months in areas such as Karman Marash and Hatay, which were severely hit by the two earthquakes. The death toll has now reached 41,156. Over 114,000 people were also rescued from the rubble. Some people, however, disagree with the government's assessment of the damage caused by the earthquakes. A property developer noted that the country would need to build around a million new homes in the areas affected by the two earthquakes. Altan Elmas, the head of an association of property developers, said in an interview that most of the buildings in the areas ravaged by the earthquakes would have to be demolished. According to Ilmas, the cost of the infrastructure and destroyed dwellings in the areas would be around $100 billion. In response to the disaster, Erdogan announced various measures to help mitigate its effects. In addition, the government's credit guarantee fund has been increased to 350 billion Turkish liras, from 250 billion. Likewise, the state-run banks will give farmers and borrowers a year's grace period to settle their debts. The families of those who died in the disaster will also receive cash payments of 100,000 Turkish liras each. In addition, the state-run banks will provide financial assistance to the survivors. They will also forgive the debts of those who died. The rapid employment of 20,000 individuals in the areas affected by the disaster is also expected to begin. Thank you for watching and we will keep you updated as more information becomes available.